Okay, I just did the video on how to make the antenna, quarter wave antenna, and it was suggested to me that uh, I need to optimize my patch antenna. Well, I've never had it apart, and it's kind of difficult to get apart. Uh, it's, it's glued on with looks like bath tub caulking all the way around to waterproof it, I guess. But it was a chore. But you take the lid off like this, and this is what's inside the patch antenna. And if you read on, there's a, a, a form where uh, I'd be crazy talks about how to optimize this for uh, 1280, 1258, and so on. And uh, the original mem uh, measurements for this were. Uh, across this way 4.85 and this way 4.5 so four and a half inches this way and and four and three quarter inches this way sort of, sort of. and what they suggest is that you take it down to 4.25 inches so you cut off about a quarter inch off of each side and I've got that marked right here so then I'm going to set my caliper now to 4.02402. Actually, 4.20, yeah, right. Okay, so this is the difference on this. Well, what they're saying is go ahead and take because you can't really cut off the bottom take it all off the top right here now I'll measure this right here like this okay I'll turn this around and line up my marks like this And I'll take a half inch off of, of this and a half inch off the width of a total. So a quarter on each side and a half off the top. That will make it our 4.02 and our 4.25 this way. And I'm going to cut that with some tin snips. Okay. This is uh, got it's held off with some standoffs right here and I just carefully undo those and notice that uh, I'm going to cut off the standoff holes on the top and they, they said that's just inevitable I might have to glue it back on so I'm going to try it's just a piece of copper plate so it cuts really easy a uh, heavy pair of scissors would probably be okay. These tin snips will cut it straight and true. If you're not in the mood for doing this, ready-made RC will make you one like this. They just take their normal patch antenna and optimize it. They take it apart, do the same thing. But if you've already got one, okay, this supposedly is going to work better. We hope, hope, hope. I put it back on there. If you look under here, there's some, uh, there is some kind of standoff things in there. And I'm going to affix it to that. They say you could use hot glue if you wanted to. But uh, I'm going to use goop because I have it. I'm going to put a little bit of a bend in that just here. Okay. Like that so it lays down better. 
Okay. You notice right here, there's a couple of places that I hold that up there. Bend that corner up just a hair. Supposed to be as flat as you can. Now we talked about in the other video about the plus and minus, the the uh, minus side of the uh, quarter wave antenna goes down and the plus side goes up. The center section of the coax goes up, the, the insulation goes down. Well this is the same thing. Here's the insulation. They've twisted the insulation wire, soldered it to this is the ground plane right here. And then the center section comes out and is soldered right there. So this represents the ground, this represents the sky, I guess. But the top part of the antenna is attracted to this, the bottom part of the antenna is attracted to this. And they say to put it on about a 25 to 30 degree angle to the ground. And some people put it about a foot or two above the ground. Mine's usually about three feet or so I've got on my base station. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my goop ready and stick that down. And then we'll see what happens from there. Okay, I took a little bit of goop right here and put it on my my uh, popsicle stick and I put some down in here and down in here. I'm going to try to minimize my exposure to this because I'm allergic to goop. Okay, so I'm going to put this. <coughs> it's already choking me up. I'm going to put that on there like that. And see how I'm giving it a little bit of, I think I got a little too much, believe that or not. One of those standoffs is broken anyhow. Okay, it's already starting to stick. there. Try to minimize the extra goober. That's a highly technical term by the way. Okay, I think just for good measure I'm going to put that on there for a while and stick that down and the next step is put this back together and test it. Now let's finish up our uh, um, changes on our patch antenna. Uh, we cut down, we cut this much metal out of the antenna part of it and uh, of course I had to pry it apart to begin with so I had to put it back together uh, I used basically the same thing they did I used a uh, silicone bathroom uh, cock right there and then I uh, clamped it a little bit I don't think it even would need to be clamped because these little holes these little things kind of index in the problem is I put enough stuff on there you never get it apart now okay so now we're back together and the benefit of this is now you know what's inside here. Uh, we've changed it according to uh, to IB Crazy and to ReadyMade RC specifications to match the uh, 1280, 1258. And I've tried it before we put the lid on it. We tried it, and it seems to work fine. Of course, it's only a couple feet away from from the airplane, so it probably would work with a wire. But um, we got ready to go. We're going to be able to field test it in the next few days sometime. I just want to show you how I mounted it. Got this little uh, wooden block here with Velcro on it. And I just stick it on right here. This is 20, 21 degrees right here. This angle. Which is close to what they say is right. Okay. 
Then I've made up a piece of plastic pipe and uh, drilled it. I put that in there. This just keeps the wind from blowing it away when I'm using it. But I put that down in there and then I put this nylon bolt in there with a the wing nut on so I can turn it with my fingers. And it, I kind of ran a thread, a tap to it, but you can't tighten it down. It, I mean, it, that's it right there. But it just keeps it from coming off when we're using it. Now then, what I, what I've done, I'll show you what I've got. Now see, this is, should be the 21 degrees right there. It should be because that's what it measures out. If this was right up and down, I've never really thought I had a, a, a problem with it. And you can fly behind us a little, but you don't want to fly behind it very far. And the idea is we can turn it like this. Uh, my able-bodied spotter and co-pilot Lana, yeah, I just tell her what direction to point it because I can see, and she can see it in the monitor too when it starts to get fuzzy. And we just turn it more toward the plane. Now I actually marked on the top of it here what the field of view is. It doesn't have a real wide field of view. So I marked that on there. Kind of gives you an idea well, it's going to I mean it spreads way out here, but you get close in, it's pretty narrow. Okay, now let's, I'm going to take it and put it on my, uh, on my flight box and show you how we actually use it. So I've got it in here. I strap it down to a table with a, uh, with a ratchet strap. Uh, I've got a little angle here. It's well within my 30 degree limit. But if I need to turn it, if I'm flying around, uh, we can just turn it like this and that seems to work fine. Be nice to have an antenna tracker, but I never fly alone and I've got a human antenna tracker. It's uh, way better than the mechanical ones. So this is how I turn it. And usually that's about all we need to go right there. Um, I try never to fly a long ways behind. You can fly, you know, probably a block behind this without too much trouble. But this seems to work best. I really like the linear antennas better. I've tried the cloverleaf ones and didn't have really good luck. I'll try them again. It seems like they're getting more popular. But I really like the linear antenna. It's simple. Uh, I mean, you can you can see how simple it is from when we had to depart. Plus the either the uh, the rubber duck antenna that that I put on the airplane like this. Or the um, dipole antenna that I showed how we made yesterday. One of these two on there, and, and it flies as far as I need to. Uh, Bonafide Pilot says he's flown with this patch antenna and the uh, and the uh, s the small quarter wave antenna. He's flown seven miles with it. I've done three. That's as far as I really need to go right now. I'll do the seven miles next year maybe, but uh, it seems to work fine. So, again, I'm no expert. I'm just showing you what I've researched and found. Um, look on the internet, research it yourself, take the thing apart. Now you can buy an optimized one if you don't want to do this. Again, you can buy an optimized one, which is from Ready Made RC, but what they do is exactly what I just showed you uh, because I learned it from them. Okay, so uh, try it, see how it works. Remember, try it, baby steps, go short, feel, uh, test it in the, on a bench quite a bit, and then take it out and try it. Let me know. You know, tell your friends and neighbors, put it on Facebook, subscribe, get people to subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching. Uncle Deke out.